Hello Blyze lovers, you are on my channel Blyze Me More and this video is quite unusual um, since I spent extra effort and so much time uh, creating um, this look of Alice I've decided to make a full video I hope you enjoy it it's like more for entertainment purposes but honestly I still haven't practiced putting anything on on her so I will see her for the first time as you will also, I'm going to use this opportunity for guiding you through my YouTube channel as for each part of custom I have video tutorials which can be helpful. So let's begin waking up our new Alice. This is what I have for my Alice. Um, in my previous video, I recorded um, unpacking Dolly uh, post from uh, one maker in Australia. So this is spe specially created dress um, for this Alice girl. And um, well, I also have a um, video review on AliExpress shop from where I'm getting shoes. Um, as well, you can find tutorial on how to crochet um, such small cute bunny. Additionally, in my Etsy store, you can find sets of socks and panties. So there are many choices. And now it's time to start getting her dressed. Finally, this is our gorgeous girl. I called her Timeless Alice. I hope you like her. And if you wish to know uh, what kind of elements of custom are present in this Blyze doll, just stay with me. I will start from the top to the bottom. And to begin with, I washed her hair. And this is her factory hair. Uh, like initially she comes like this. And I have a video on how to do it right. Um, okay, so then uh, of course the uh, most difficult part is the carving. I also have a video on carving steps and uh, let's look at her eyelids. So here I'm using um, one special technique. I've never seen anybody uses it so I can even like claim it somehow. I also have a video about stamping on eyelids. I have a video about eyelashes, about the sizes and the shop where I get them from. Also you can see um, fantasy eyes, Alice fantasy eyes. Um, in my Etsy shop you can find really wide selection of um, fantasy eyes for different themes, or especially for Alice and some creepy styles and uh, clown styles. So I um, chose two fantasy uh, pairs and I also have uh, with like huge pupil so with such a beautiful blue color and these are more or less um, regular but also very very pretty and I have 
this fantasy, more like creepy <laughs> Alice uh, eyes. And they're really matching this beige color to the um, elements of the dress. Okay, so also I have like uh, videos on how to make um, sleepy eyes and how to uh, make doll open the eyes fully, which is um, I find really pretty rather than to be like half closed like she's sleepy. Um, okay, and um, here I'm using a metal neck joint. I also have a video um, how to install it and where do I get it from. And let's move to the um, back panel. Well, here also I have the um, earrings. They are non-removable. Um, here we have um, the... Uh, um, it's called like, you know, tattoo. Uh, it's not really a sticker, uh, but just like a kid's tattoo. Um, so here I um, applied one. I also have a video on how to do that. We are moving further to the pull strings. I love making pull strings. I can spend hours um, choosing the combinations I think are perfect. And these are specifically I made for um, Blythe Ellis. Um, you can find a um, selection of pull strings for your Blythe in my Etsy store. Or you can make them uh, yourselves. I also have guides um, on the sizes of beads and the cord I'm using and the charms and which ones I recommend and which ones I don't. And uh, we are moving to the last part. It is strengthened knees. So her knees are not loose, uh, which is also important because if you put her on a stand uh, with the heavy hair, so her knees can start bending. So it will not happen if you uh, use the technique of strengthening uh, her knees. So I also have a video uh, showing you how to do that. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty much that's it. So I hope this information was useful and you enjoyed. Uh, this is my Alice number four. And I can say that they are all so different and so unique. Um, I hope each of them will find her forever home. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.